Okay, I have to show you this. It's a really quick video. Check out how you can peel garlic with our garlic peeler. Y'all, look. Hello. This is the coolest thing. It's just a little tube and it's squishy. And mm, now it smells like garlic. Okay, I gotta show you this. Okay, so I'm gonna take my head of garlic now. You know, this is a head. If you don't cook, you may not know that this is not a clove. This is a collection of cloves. And when I first started cooking, my mom always, she never, she always used garlic powder, but she never really cooked with garlic as in like this garlic. Okay, so when I started cooking on my own, when I became an adult and started doing the adulty things and cooking for my family, I thought that when a recipe called for a clove of garlic, but I learned and hopefully if some of you think the same thing, now I've taught you and passed on my wealth of knowledge to you, that this is a bulb or a head of garlic. And um, this, oh, you know what? Also, I, I found out that if you can look at to see if this was grown in the United States or not by like, see how this has got like a flat little head on it. If it, uh, if it has like a flat little top on it, you can tell that it was grown here in the U.S. And if it has a lot of gnarliness to the top of it, that it was grown in another country. I don't know if that's a myth that needs to be debunked. I need to do a little bit of research on that. But I thought that was kind of a neat little, little thing. Okay, so I'm going to peel off my little garlic cloves. Now, this is a good one because this is a nice big garlic cloves. Now, if someone tells you that you are putting too much garlic in your recipe, you just, you know, you don't need that kind of negativity in your life, okay? So, garlic is one of those things where you can never have too much. Uh, well, unless it's like chocolate chip cookies, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about, you know, like savory stuff, okay? So, when a recipe calls for one clove of garlic, I, I I just let my heart lead and I just pick however much garlic I think I want, okay? But if you are not one that likes garlic, you know, you might want to kind of stay with the recipe. But I love garlic. I can eat it raw. I think it's wonderful for, uh, it's a great um, antibacterial. It's great for your immune system. It's great for your cholesterol, which mine is like, yay, so high. So anyway, let me show you this. Okay, so I'm going to get my clove of garlic here. I was just like blown away when I saw this. Okay, so I'm just going to put, it's like a magic trick, okay? So I'm just going to put my clove of garlic in my little doodah here, my little garlic peeler. Okay, we actually have a garlic slicer as well. Um, they come as a set, or that you can just get them individually. But this is the garlic peeler. So I'm going to put my garlic in there. I'm going to lay it on my cutting board, and I'm going to just roll. I'm going to press and roll like you would Play-Doh, like if you're making a snake with Play-Doh. Okay, check it out. All right. Ta-da. It's peeled. Here's my peel. Magic, y'all, magic. All right. Anyway, that's my and here's the here's the clove here's the peel to prove it. It's a peeled clove of garlic. Right there. Mm -mm. Just waiting for something yummy to to do with it. Well, I hope that you found that interesting. Stay tuned for more exciting videos from Sean your sunshine chef, bringing light and joy into your kitchen.